This is Cool Japan, and today we're going to look at some gachas from the Sylvanian family line of gachas. These are from two different lines, and usually I don't buy this kind of stuff, but I am buying this for a friend, and they are, yeah, they're getting this in hopes of the scale working with regular sized figures. And if that does indeed work, then that's a pretty cool idea. So let's take a look at what I pulled. Um, this I got this set. It looks like it has some miniature toys. Uh, I guess I'm not sure which one that is. Oh, okay, it's this one. And this set is the theme of this set is um, it's a preschool. So you can put the sets together and make a little small preschool house. We've got the sand set, uh, toilet and sink set, and two sets for inside the preschool or kindergarten. So I got the inside of the kindergarten. It looks like it has some cool looking toys and some stickers. I will be putting on the stickers later. And you get a little miniature Sylvanian family figure. Looks really nice. And the second pull from that series looks like um, looks like the toilet and the sink. Pretty cool. There's a little miniature figure, and I will be putting these together later with the stickers, so you can see that later in the video. Next up, this set is. Let's see, the theme for this set is regular house. That looks pretty awesome. So you can put together all of these sets to build a miniature dollhouse, which is really awesome, actually. And if you can put them together and use them with actual, like, uh, six, I mean, uh, six inch figures, that would be really cool. If it's 112 scale, that would be really, really awesome. It's looking to be a little bit bigger than 112 though, but still, if you could use it as a dollhouse, that would be pretty sweet. So, what I get? I got the bathroom, bathroom set. I got a little mom figure. That's pretty cool. Uh, let me just... Ah, here it is. So it's the bottom floor, and... I guess if I got two bottom floors, that would be pretty cool. You can make like a miniature dollhouse thing. Uh, and I think that is what I got. Oh, this one's kind of opened. You got a bunch of chairs and tables and stuff. What is this one? So that is... Yeah, it's right here. So I did get the two bottom floors. Kind of cool. Maybe I would have preferred the two top floors. Eh, I don't know. It's pretty cool though. So yeah, let me put these together and put on the stickers and I'll show you what what's going on with these. Okay, so here is everything all put together and stickered up. And I did notice that there is a ton of detail on all of this stuff. It's actually pretty cool. So I will be going through all of it. it might take a little bit of time, but check it out. First here is the preschool or the nursery school and the outside uh, it's got stickers on the outside which is pretty nice. On the other side we've got a bus stop and a sign right there and a poster for the music recital. Pretty awesome. And nursery schools in Japan they usually have a fire escape which is uh, usually a slide so they put that slide here. That's pretty awesome. Let's look at the figure. Cute little figure. It's a little bit bendy because it's rubber. And inside you've got this piano which is pretty cool. Nice little details. They put stickers on a lot of stuff. You've got a miniature house. Like a dollhouse or maybe some blocks. Pretty cool. You've also got two, two blocks. 
There's only stickers on three sides of the blocks. The back and top and bottom have nothing. And you've got a little chair for the piano or I don't know, like a step or something. And there's a tiny little train. No stickers on the train, but it looks pretty nice. All right, let's next up let's take a look at the bathroom. Looking pretty nice. You got the boys' bathroom and the girls' bathroom or whatever. Nothing on the back. And here's the sink which looks really nice. Nothing on the back. And the little figure it comes with. Looking a little bit sad. That's pretty cool. It does, uh, this set is a little bit less detailed than this set, probably because it has these two big pieces, but there are a lot fewer stickers. Next up, let's take a look at the bathroom, um, the house bathroom. We got the figure here. Same rubber. And let's see. Inside the bathroom, you've got the walls and wallpaper, mirror, some toothbrushes and stuff. All looks pretty nice. Can't really focus, but it looks really nice. You've got the outside of the house, which looks pretty good. And there's a, there's a bathtub. With a brush. Here's a shower head. I like how it's two different colors. And you've got a little basket which looks really good. And a shampoo bottle. So everything has really nice small details and stickers which makes it look even better. Pretty cool. Next up let's take a look at the kitchen and dining room. Here's the little figure. And start off with the countertop. We've got stickers for the cabinets under the sink and the stove and the oven. And there's a frying pan with eggs and sausage inside which was a really nice little touch. And we've got the table. The table has a tablecloth. And the two chairs also have these cushions on it. So, yeah, that's everything. It all looks really good, actually. And if you're wondering if you can use this with your 12, I mean, with your 112 figures, I don't know. I mean, it really depends. These are a little bit big. I have a Spider-Man right here. He is six inch figure basically the same size as your Marvel Legends. The figure can go in his hand pretty nicely and yeah I guess it's a little bit bigger scale high-end dollhouse I guess but I guess you know what it might work with smaller like um, Figma figures they might seem a little bit too big but with six inch scale figures yeah it works so anyway hope you guys enjoyed my little video and actually let me check something I wonder if you can stack yeah you can stack them to make an even bigger house so yeah oh, maybe this should be up here because I got the door right there there we go miniature house miniature dollhouse all in all, I would say it is pretty cool, and these these gutches are 300 yen each, about three bucks. So, yeah, pretty good price. The detail and the size, everything works out pretty good. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a bunch of other cool uh, gacha stuff.